South Community, if you would have a seat as we enter into our prayer time. Uh, here in a few moments, uh, our two members of our service team will come up and leave baskets here at the front. Um, at this time, it would be a great time for you to get your prayer cards ready and prepared, your tithe and offering ready and prepared, because as you come up during the next song, you can place them in the basket. We have altars opened up for you guys to spend some time in prayer. And really quickly this morning, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, we have our youth group leaving out to Six Flags today. Yes, pray for us, pray for us. Um, and also, I want to talk to you just about trips really quick. In the, I don't know if you know this or not, but in January, Joel in his infinite wisdom, he says, you know what, I'm taking my praise and worship band, young adults, people that are young aged and uh, some older, and then also seniors, and they go to this conference called Passion. And I tell you, man, uh, a person like me that's on staff at our church, I love trips, because if we can get people moved out of their comfort zone, push them into a place that they're not familiar with, get them connected to where all they're hearing about is Jesus, and they're praising Jesus, and they're listening to amazing uh, sermons about Jesus, they come back and they're just fired up. And when I see them walking through those doors, I'm like, yes, you're getting it, this life that has just been altered. So we love trips like this, and we thank you because we can't do trips like this unless we have obedience in the church. People that say, I believe what the church is doing, I believe that um, this church is doing well with our tithe and offering. And that's exactly what we do, is we take people to these moments where they can have this life change, where they can say, yes, I need to re rededicate my life, or yes, I need to be more, more obedient, or yes, tonight we're gonna have, and I want you to pray about this, a little sixth grader probably raise his hand and say, I love Jesus, I wanna know him. And we see salvation come to the hearts of the unbeliever. That's what happens when we're obedient as a church. And we thank you for that. So let's continue uh, as we worship today, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time. We thank you, Lord, for what you have given us, God. We thank you, Lord, for our ability, God, to be obedient to you, God. You allowed us to have a measure, and we're able to have a portion, God, to give back to you. And Lord, let us be obedient, and let us be ready to be thankful for what you're doing in the church for what you're doing on these trips, for what you're doing as we go to Six Flags, as we go out to a Passion Conference, God, as we go to mission trips, Lord, as we come in every single Sunday, Lord, we're just ready and we're, we're waiting to see what you're gonna be doing, God. And we know it starts with our obedience and our faith in you. We love you and pray all these things in Jesus' name.